Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From the previous video tutorial, we are trying to understand CSS pseudo class selectors and how we can use them in our HTML pages. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss pseudo class selectors with respect to navigation, that is with respect to hyperlinks. Before we proceed and understand pseudo class selectors with respect to the navigation or hyperlinks, First of all, I want to create some documents. I minimize the word document. I go to start, say here notepad. I click on notepad. You can see that the notepad got open. Here I say basic HTML structure, less than exclamation mark doc type HTML, opening HTML tag lang equal to en, closing HTML. Then I say here opening head tag, closing head tag, opening body tag, closing body tag. In the head section, I say meta char set equal to utf8 close. Then I set the title. I say here default page closing title. File save as. I save the file at desktop with the name default.html. Both sides I put double quotations. Click on save. I minimize the notepad. You can see that default.html page got created. I change the title here to contact us page i copy this content paste here control v file save as i save the file with the name contact us dot html both sides i put double quotations i click on save you can see that contact us dot html page got created i change this to about us page here also same thing i say about us page file save as I save the file at desktop with the name about us dot html both sides I put double quotations click on save button close this you can see that about us page also created I right click on default dot html page open with the notepad you can see that open in the notepad minimize it I right click on default dot html page open with the firefox I click on the notepad to open it you can see here on the right hand side default page that is default.html page got open in the body section i create anchor href equal to contact us dot html double quotation close closing anchor tag here i say visit contact us page then i say here break one more break i copy this from here paste down here i say a b o u t about us dot html page here I say about about us page file save go to browser and refresh you can see that visit contact us page visit about us page got displayed in the browser you can observe that both of them have blue text color as well as text decoration is underlined so both of them are underlined blue color text let's proceed and understand CSS pseudo class selectors with respect to navigation and how we can use them. I go to the word document. The first syntax we are going to talk is selector colon link flower bracket declaration list. It selects any HTML element targeted by the selector. If its status is unvisited, unvisited state is the default state of any anchor element. That means if we have not clicked on an anchor element not visited to some page that anchor element is going to have a default state known as unvisited state that is identified by link pseudo class selector for example a colon link in flower bracket we have written text decoration none what this code does actually it selects any anchor element if its status is unvisited then applies the text decoration none for example here you can see that as i told Anchor elements, if they are in an unvisited state, they are going to have by default blue color text and text decoration underline. What if you want to remove this underline? Then we have to identify the anchor elements which are in unvisited state and apply the text decoration none. In the head section, what I do is I write here style type equal to text or CSS closing style tag. Then I say here, locate any anchor if it is in an unvisited state, then say text-decoration 
to none file save go to browser and refresh you can see that both of them are in unvisited state that's the reason text decoration is set to none they don't have underline now let's go to the next syntax selector colon hover in flower bracket we write a declaration list it selects any html element targeted by the selector if its status is hovered anchor element unvisited state to the hovered state it goes when we mouse over on it for example a colon hover in flower bracket border bottom 5px solid blue what this code does actually it selects any anchor element if its status is hovered state applies a border bottom of 5px solid blue color when we move the mouse cursor over an anchor element its status changes to the hovered state that is identified the hover pseudo class selector let's see the demonstration here i say anchor colon hover i am telling to the browser that when we move the mouse cursor over any anchor element its state changes to the hovered state then apply the border b o r d e r border bottom of 5px solid blue color file save go to browser and refresh you can see now both links are in unvisited state when i move the mouse cursor you can see that now the first anchor state is changed to hovered state so it has a border bottom line if i move the mouse cursor on it you can see the second hyperlink is also has now a border bottom when we go away you can see that the underline is removed they are back to unvisited state now both of them are in unvisited state hovered state unvisited state hovered state unvisited state hope you guys have clearly understood this hover pseudo class selector is a very very useful pseudo class selector you can use it on almost every html element that means on mouse over if you want to apply some styles on any html element you can use this pseudo class selector it's very very useful let's go to the next syntax selector colon visited flower brackets declaration list it selects any html element targeted by the selector if its status is visited when we click on a anchor element and visit to a page automatically the anchor element state changes to visited state a colon visited color green what this code does it selects any anchor element if its status is visited and applies a color green let's see the demonstration here i say anchor colon visited in flower brackets i say color colon green semicolon before i write this let me cut this file save go to browser both of them are in a unvisited state when i click on this visit contact us page of course we know that we go to the context us dot html page let's go you can see context us page got open if i come back you can see that the first hyperlink text color is changed to purple color by default visited hyperlinks are going to have a purple color what if you want the green color instead of a purple color if you have visited hyperlinks and their color should be green then we have to write this code file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the first hyperlink color is changed to green color that indicates that we have visited the contact us page still we have not visited to about us page hence it is still having the blue color because it is in unvisited state if i click on it we are visited to about us page and once i come back it is also going to have the green color now both of them are in visited state hope you guys have clearly understood pseudo class selectors with respect to navigation what they indicate and how you can use them they are very very useful i suggest you people to understand whatever i explained in this video For this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get some more information on pseudo class selectors with respect to navigation for more benefits and be updated please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial